He had an ankle injury in that Texas game we were talking about. Yeah, I think he's finding a great team box shot by Iowa. When the ball hits the floor and you box top at all five positions, man, that's a win on film. The attention at 55 in yellow brings. He has gravity attention for a big guy as good as we've seen. And this, this, this dude can flat out stroke it. Wieskamp passes it up top and another three this time. Frederick knocks it down. Boy, the, the, the ball movement, the passing is sharp. The ball fakes, just stick your nose in the gap and create another good look. He scores before he ever touches it because of the great position, understanding how to pin, as well as we've had in the college game talking about Garza over the last 10 years. An outstanding post presence. He got early position there and spun it back out to Bohannon for three. This is an automatic three-point shooting team. Guy of the ball is the, is the next Luca Garza type down that far corner. Jack Lindsay is the real deal at 6'11. Bam! Oh, Bohannon! Another three! The perimeter guard right now, he's shooting guard. New North Carolina make Iowa do something off the bounce. For goodness sake, what in the world? Watch and shoot. It is marksmanship theater in Iowa City right now. Downstairs at two for Dayron Sharp. Yeah, that's a perception game for me going forward. If Illinois loses, I go the next three months thinking, are they really good enough to win it all? If they win, I'm thinking, you know what? They are good enough to win it all. Yeah, yeah. You need a couple of calendars for me, oh, by the way. Man, I've seen you. You, you. you can move when the pressure's on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rental car facility. Yeah. Run them off the three-point line. Yeah. Frederick got another. It will develop. And win to push, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Seven turnovers for North Carolina early in this game compared to two for Iowa. That floater is good. That's an interesting thought. Too many cooks to kick. Yeah, absolutely there are. There you go, Garrison Brooks. That's, that's what you have to be on the road. I don't know if the goggles still bother him or not. You know, it's, uh, I'd be screaming in a freeze frame, too, if I were him. That, that has to be a record. Good position by Garrison Brooks. Yeah, he beat him to the rim. Brooks with a slam. And uh, Lebanon uh, makes a good pass. Garrison Brooks now starting to play like... Brooks runs right down the pipe. No one picks him up. Garrison Brooks, I called him out right, maybe four minutes ago. And North Carolina can get back in this game with their run game, with their rebound game. And the rebound for North Carolina. There it is. Great lead feed, the two for Puck Johnson and UNC. Kessler reached over, couldn't come up with the ball against Garza. Lead is eight. Oh, not anymore. Frederick is claiming he got hit. Larry Scarato said no whistle. And Caleb Love on the attack scores for North Carolina. Yeah, I, I was getting run down a little bit. Turned up the heat in the run game. There go Trap Bohan and force him to give it up. Frederick got the flyby and Frederick knocks it down to end the first half. Boy, that thing eye high sells it. Watch the sell. Boom. That is a sell in the sidestep three rotation. Have you had one of those yet, by the way, a queso burger? You know, I, I like anything with queso, so yes, I absolutely have. Good pin. Yeah. Oh, Garrison Brooks, the stuff. He's got three dunks in the game. When you say really good pin, what do you mean? Well, he, he got the guy on his backside. You pinned him then. Easy enough. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the poster. Brooks turns it quickly. They get a weak side lean in. Big cut in the second chance for another stuff. Yeah, wonder what Roy Williams said in that locker room because there has been an ignition turned for North Carolina. Leaky Black got to the rim. It's a seven-point game and a timeout. Brand McCaffrey. Harry Scarlato, one of the best officials in the country. And Big Ten, certainly. There's a hard drive by Wieskamp, a much-needed one for Iowa. Black used the screen from Brooks, who got it back. And now Garrison Brooks going to work on Wieskamp. Four, two, and a foul. Oh, that was pretty for Garrison Brooks. He has changed his defensive philosophy to win this ball game, understanding we have to be disruptive if we're going to win this thing. Oh, how smooth by ball hand in there. Good job by Carolina switching, switching high on shooters. McCaffrey the lob, beautiful on the touchdown team. Pancaked away, Kessler stood straight up. Love, 4-3, it's a one-point lead. All started with the length of Kessler bothering Luka Garza, but they're making a great effort to do it. Nunji got a look. Oh, just missed it. Garza comes flying in. Garza, oh, goodness! 
Yes! Good teams fix the problem within the game. Can Iowa fix that lack of running problem over the next 12 minutes and 45 seconds? Yeah, that, yeah I'll see. that's interesting. Don't wait till March to do it. Do it right now. Guards, they got position and seal. When you say that about Nunji, uh, just getting in the weight room, you're talking about or what? Well, uh, yeah. Eating, getting stronger, just, just all, getting, getting tougher, all those things. There you go, big boy. Like that guy. Guards are in trouble. Just continue to pound it to 55 in gold and trust him. A uh, floater there for Davis, but on the last possession. And a one-point lead. And what, what does Iowa have offense right now besides a three-point shot? Double that basketball trying to speed Iowa up. Two side. Two on the foul. It's a block. To be a legitimate top five team. Well, I, I do have to say, Garrison Brooks turned into Sam Gash there, by the way, as a lead blocker. At the pin, yeah. yeah. We get down to a short clock. Where does Iowa go under 10? They're not a ball screen team. Bo Hannon. Oh! Got it rain down! Is this game in minutes played? Oh, Bo Hannon wanted it so bad, and Caleb Love got the hand out to Sam. Beautiful! How good has to stop in this game? With the hip issue, and they're both playing now tonight. Guards is back in, high off the window, no, and it's a whistle for two. Keegan Murray. Watch Keegan Murray. They're just kind of flying in with a soft touch. He's not going to let up. 55 in gold is not going to let up. He's not going to back down. There's no coward in this kid. If you foul out, you foul out. It's a pinball machine down there with Sharp. As they get a three from Wies Camp once again. Lead is 10 for Iowa. Seven minutes to go. Illinois Duke coming next. Close one in Lawrence earlier. Ball go ahead and rips it. That is beautiful. Got down low traffic strength. Like win the collision at the rim strength. And he's got that as a true freshman. That's a tough shot. I go right there. Right there. And they do, and it's Sharp turning his goal. Tip plays by Murray in the last three minutes. Carolina sped up now. Play tech wants it. To the goal tonight by Murray. That's a refeed to Garza for McCaffrey. Kick it back out, McCaffrey. Extra feed, Bo Hannon for three. It all started, though, with a post touch of Garza. We love Mountain West Monday back in Syracuse. You watch us, didn't you? Oh, yeah, we have big parties for it. We were out of our minds, college basketball fans. Iowa up big, trying to put this thing away, and there's C.J. Fred. It, it transfers to being a terrific leader someday. He's a, he's a very well-rounded guy, and every head coach in recruiting has told me the same thing. That's a big basket. Late shot clock, Leaky Black. And with point three left, the Iowa Hawkeyes, if you had questions, there are the answers. <laughs> in stereo. You were better the second time.